What this script does is allow you to do something using Dynamo that you can't do using simply your keyboard and mouse in Revit. Now, if I was to ask you, I wanna rotate each one of these columns 30 degrees on their own axis and do it with your keyboard and mouse, how would you do it? I could tell you right now, there's really no way. But there's no way to rotate them individually on their own axis 30 degrees until Dynamo. So there's a perfect example of Dynamo being able to do something more than what you can do with your keyboard and mouse. So the first thing that you always want to do when launching Dynamo is you want to change the run sequence from automatic to manual. So down on the bottom left, see how it says automatic there? I'm going to click that and I'm going to switch it to manual. And you'll notice a run button comes up. I'll tell you a little secret. I never, ever, ever manually look for a node. I always search for nodes. And once you realize that, and once you start looking for specific nodes using the search command, it gets a little less scary to work inside of Dynamo. The mantra of this entire video series is Dynamo does it the way you do it. And this will help you simplify everything and even the most complex things in Dynamo. So in the example we're using here, if I minimize Dynamo, let's think about the steps it takes to actually rotate a column. Well, I need to select the column. I need to type the rotate command. I need to activate the rotate command. And then I need to type in or, or select an angle. And then once I end the command, it's rotated. We need to select our elements. So I'm going to, again, I don't necessarily know exactly what selection command we're going to use. I do for this video, but in general, maybe you don't. Or you don't know the exact term. So if I just start typing in the search bar, the term select, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff comes up. Okay, so there's a lot of selection here. But then we're gonna say, okay, well, what am I doing? I'm selecting elements. So let's search for select elements. And you can see now we have a, uh, we've narrowed it down. So without even knowing the name of the node, if I just type the word rotate, so automatically we filter it down to all the nodes in Dynamo that have to do with rotation, okay? So now you don't have to read through all of these in the tutorial, but if you were to read through each one of these, you would notice that they all don't do what you're looking for. Um, they're looking, looking for different types of rotations, different angles, and so on and so forth. So, and this is how I learned Dynamo. I just went through and I sort of started looking at it. And then I found this one called Set Rotation. 